Assalamualaikum, dear students. Uh, today we are starting a lecture four, that is future indefinite. We have already discussed the present indefinite and past indefinite. So, what is the agenda today? End of lecture. Uh, first of all, we will read the usage. Then we learn the syntax, and then we go for the examples. And yes, two things that is really interesting and really amazing and I must say you uh, you have never learned this uh, that is will versus shell and then present indefinite versus future indefinite we will uh, see that where we have to use present indefinite and where we have to use future indefinite and then there is a activity so here is the usage it is used for prediction plan and plan actions expectation promise and determination let's see the example here it will rain so what is this it's a prediction the prime minister will come tomorrow so what is this it's a planned or unplanned action he will send email so it can be the expectation it can be the promise as well it can be the determination as well here is an another usage it refers to an action or event that has not begun yet it's a complete definition of future indefinite that we are discussing here those events those action that haven't begun yet so it means any action that occur in future means we are talking about the future so here is the syntax uh, uh, we will discuss here affirmative negative interrogative double interrogative so here in affirmative it's a very simple structure subject will or shall verb false form and object in uh, future indefinite, we will only use first form of verb. We will never use second or third, as like in present indefinite. So here the negative structure uh, same, but we will uh, add not. In interrogative, uh, we will start with the will or shall, then subject, verb, first form, object, then question mark. And in dub the double interrogative, we are now expert here that we know that wh family uh, we will take initiate, then will or shall then subject or first form plus object plus question mark and uh, in coming lecture we will discuss uh, that uh, where we have to use will or where we have to use shall so here is the examples of affirmative uh, you will find the flesh drive in the local all employers will get bonus this year we shall participate in competition so let's see uh, let's discuss uh, in detail let's discuss in detail uh, we will you will find a flash drive in the locker so here you is the subject will we are using find uh, after will uh, we are using here were first form and then other are the object take the example of negative uh, she will not forgive you i shall not visit there my father will not allow me for this event so simply we are adding here not in interrogative, we will start either with will or shall. Will I complete this task? Question mark. Shall we buy this car? Question mark. Will I must complain to principal? In double interrogative, we will start with the WH family. That is, what will you ask from teacher? How will he come tomorrow? Where shall we attend the class? So here, uh, something interesting we are uh, going to learn here. Uh, will versus shall. So uh, it is completely uh, clear here that will uh, is used with he, she, it, you, they and shall we will use with we and I means uh, with I and we we uh, will always use uh, shall and with other pronoun uh, we will use will. The uh, other thing have to note here that uh, shall will or shall will only use with first per person and first person are I and we. So uh, let's see the note here. Uh, shell is not often used in modern English. It can be used in formal statements. So me it means that uh, nowadays uh, shell is not uh, oftenly using uh, in modern English. And uh, basically it gives a touch of the formal sense in the sentence. Uh, so if uh, you forget that where you have to use will or shell, so simply you can use will. Here are some examples that uh, we shall make a science project and uh, if we say uh, with will, we will make a science project. So in first sentence, you can uh, feel that there is a sense of uh, formal. It means that when we are going to say or we, are, we want to generate a formal statement, so we will use shall. I shall write a book, I will write a book. So I shall write a book is uh, something a formal statement. 
I will write a book. It's uh, a informal. Present indefinite versus future indefinite. So here I have given two sentences, and first one is a future indefinite, and second is a present indefinite. So what is the difference here? So let's read the sentence. Uh, we shall buy a car next year. We buy a car next year. So what is the difference? In first sentence we have uh, uh, used shall, and the second uh, it's totally a present indefinite structure. So what is the difference here? So here is a difference. If an action is planned already, we buy a car next year. It means that if any action or event we have planned in the past, means uh, 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 like uh, I have planned that I will uh, buy a car next year. So I have already planned this thing. So I will uh, I will plan everything for regarding money or everything I will plan. So it means the event or the action that is planned already. So we will use present indefinite. We buy a car next year. If an action is prediction, it means that uh, we haven't uh, planned in the past. So uh, we will use with the uh, future indefinite and we already know that uh, future indefinite is also used for prediction. We shall buy a car next year. So here is also the note. Uh, it's the second note here. If an action is planned, we can use present indefinite. So I uh, here uh, focus on the sentence, focus on the uh, words uh, using here. If an action is planned, means if you have planned any action before, we can use present indefinite. I haven't used here, we must. We must use present indefinite. No, I have used here, we can. It means that if you want to use uh, future indefinite, you can. It will not uh, put any uh, different impact. If an action is in sense of prediction, means if any action is giving a sense of prediction, so we will use future indefinite. So here is 100% confirm that uh, if a sentence uh, seems like uh, it's a prediction, so we will uh, only use future indefinite. There is no chance to use present indefinite. So I hope you have understood two uh, different things, uh, will versus shell and uh, future indefinite versus uh, present indefinite. So here is a simple activity you have to do and after that I will give uh, some exercise practice exercises as well uh, which comprises of uh, sentences of uh, all indefinite means present indefinite, past indefinite, future indefinite. So here is a simple activity you have to make 5 affirmative sentences, 5 negative sentences, 5 interrogative sentences. Thank you. I hope you have understood this lecture and uh, I must say that you have learned something interesting, something amazing. So uh, if you have any query, feel free to ask and give feedback as well. Thank you.